Hallelujah. He has risen as he said, as he proclaimed. Hallelujah. Hello, my friends. I welcome you to this session. I welcome you to this time of praying together, of talking about the love that God has showered upon us uh, in, in this resurrection of Jesus Christ. This, um, uh, it's, it's my message because I feel in my heart God is actually touching you. He's showering you with so many, many graces and blessings through the resurrection of his son, Jesus Christ. And uh, I would like us to, before I give this message of Easter, to, to read the reading from the gospel according to Mark chapter 16, verses 1 to 7. When the Sabbath was passed, Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of James and Salome bought spices so that they may go to anoint him. And very early on the first day of the week, they went to the tomb when the sun had risen. And they were saying to one another, Who will roll away the stone for us from the door of the tomb? And looking up, they saw that the stone was rolled back, for it was very large. And entering the tomb, they saw a young man sitting on the right side, dressed in a white robe, and they were amazed. And he said to them, Do not be amazed. You seek Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He has risen. He is not here. See the place where they laid him. But go, tell his disciples and Peter, that he is going before you to Galilee. There you will see him as he told you. And this is the gospel of the Lord. And we can say, hallelujah, he's risen, hallelujah. Jesus is risen. So, um, um, of course, there's a lot of theological meaning. There's a lot of, 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 of study. And, you know, we can get, we can, and the meaning we can extract from this text. But uh, I would like us to, to, to stand on the point of three women going very early in the morning to anoint the body of Jesus. Jesus the dead now. The spices were to deal with the dead. And when they're going, they realize they actually they don't have manpower. They don't have people to help them roll the stone off. Because all of us who know um, how the, the grave were carved into the stone, of course, it was a, a huge cave. And, and the, the stone that was covering the whole entrance was huge. So the three women could not roll it off. And if they managed to roll it off, uh, it, it would be very difficult to raise it back, to put it back. Uh, and they are asking themselves, who will roll the stone for us? It is impossible for us to, to remove the stone. And uh, when, they look up, when they looked up, they found that the stone was already rolled off. Definitely they were astounded. They, they, they feared. They entered and they all of a sudden found a, 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 a man dressed in white seated on where Jesus actually was laid, where the, the, his body was laid. And he, he told them, do not be afraid. Do not blush. Do not, do not, do not be amazed. I know whom you are looking for. You are looking for Jesus, isn't it? He is not here. He's risen. Go and tell his disciples that he's actually going to Galilee. That's where they will see him. And uh, uh, my brother, my sister, the issue here is about the stone. The issue here is about a burden. A burden that we have. That we would like to do something. But there is a burden. There is a stone which we cannot manage to roll. This is a situation of you and anyone on earth. All of us go into life and then meet issues that always look like stones.
strong stones that we cannot roar. And sometimes we try to look for divine power from even other things. There are always situations that broke you. There are always situations that cause darkness. The darkness like that of the tomb where Jesus slept for three days. But this darkness, this tomb would not hold Jesus for more than three days. After three days, he rose. We also know from the other gospel uh, of Luke, but also the gospel of Matthew, that it's actually the angel of the Lord who came like lightning and rolled off the stone and sat on it. And the, 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 uh, the soldiers who were guarding who were the night watchmen was, saw what exactly happened, though they were frightened, frightened to death. So we, we, we know that God is sending an angel to roar that burden that is in front of you. God is sending his angel to help you out. There is no single person who loves God and then keeps in situations that pin him for long. Every human being can meet situations that are so terrible, situations that can bring darkness, situations that can look so, so difficult for somebody to live a normal life after. But I want to tell you, so long as we believe in God, so long as we believe in Jesus Christ who resurrected, the angel will always come at a certain time, maybe after three days, maybe after 30 years, maybe after whatever, but the, the, the stone will be roared off. I am preaching, feeling a fire burning in my heart because as long as you listen to me, you are going to have divine assistance in every situation you meet on earth. You are made in such a way, so long as you believe, your faith is that, is that I can call it a chemical that strengthens your fiber, the fiber that makes you, because you are made in a certain fiber which can only be worked on by faith for you to move into um, to move into a certain a certain kind of 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 life that no situation can sit on you and manage you you are blessed you are anointed you have the grace of resurrection jesus rising from the tomb jesus rising from that darkness for, after three days is actually it it has it has it has meaning in your life that when Jesus breathed on the disciples after resurrection, he was giving them the spirit of resurrection. He was bringing resurrection into our lives. He was destroying death. He was killing death itself. So you, you and me, so long as we believe in Jesus Christ, we are made in such a way that resurrection is within us, that grace of resurrection is within us to make us meet situations and get through. No situation will always hold us until we get finished and get destroyed completely. Not at all. We are not about to live a life without situations, without difficulties. No. We actually have to meet difficulties because we have a certain quality we have a certain peace, we have a certain grace that calls us to meet situations and go through them. And I want to tell you, this is you. You are kind of a person that will always meet issues and get out of them because that's what makes you a winner. That's what gives you a testimony. That's what gives you a real understanding of how God is acting out his, way, his ways through you, how God is touching lives, how God is saving situations, how God is touching um, um, situations, is handling situations through your life. And that is amazing. Resurrection brings a certain grace that we keep within us to help us get out of darkness of life anytime we meet them. And so long as you believe in Jesus, so long as you believe in God our Father, you have that power. 
you have that grace. You have that anointing. And there is no situation that will overcome you. There is no situation that will hold you and imprison you forever. There is no situation. Actually, Jesus has broken the chains of death. Just like you are about to break all the chains of situations that are coming your way or you have been struggling with in your life. My brother, my sister, I thought that I would throw this message to you so that you may be encouraged. So that when you see me preaching, you will send it to anyone who is broken hearted. You will send it to someone who feels that the word has no any meaning anymore. Do you send this message to anyone who feels that his prayers, her prayers have never been answered? That her situation is like permanent. And I want to say in the name of Jesus, you are getting out. You have the fire of God's love. You have the grace of resurrection helping you out of that situation in the name of Jesus the resurrected. Amen. And we can say hallelujah. And I want to, to request you, my brother and sister, to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the, wa the, 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 the word uh, subscribe and also click the bell so that every time I come here to preach or I, I drop a video, it will come to your notifications and then you will be blessed to watch. May you kindly send a link or connect someone or send it, send this message to anyone you love and you would wish to bless, to grace, you would, you would wish to, to help just through these words. And may the fire of God's love fill your, fill your heart right now. May the love of God flush your heart once again. May you love once again. Love yourself and love others. May you start the journey again. May you regain your hope. May the resurrection of Jesus destroy all the demons and evil spirits and everything that has been introduced by the devil in your life. May the grace of resurrection bring you resurrection itself. May you be filled with life again. May that sickness that has been killing you slowly get out of your life. May you receive the anointing and protection of God the Father through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. God bless you.